Welcome back, everyone, to the Light All Fiends Podcast. This is episode 73. Yep. Oh, we are back. Oh, biggest gamer. I don't want. And we are back with the staple yep. Nine Star Hedgeman Body Art. Psycho. One of the first couple of ones we ever did on. Uh huh. And. Oh, strong. We skipped one week, so we had a lot of chapters. I think we skipped two weeks. We skipped two weeks, yeah. so we had a lot of chapters. So, the first week, our camera died. Yes. Like. like 20 minutes into the party. Because, you know, I failed us. It's alright. I fail this every week. <laughs> I'm a, I failed us. <laughs> <laughs> I failed us by... The, I had it plugged in. Yeah. But I think the plug wasn't fully plugged in. No. Yeah. So it wasn't charged. Yeah. Sadness. Yeah. And then... The next the week was complications. I was busy. Yeah. I couldn't do it. And now we're here this week. Now we're here this week. So we have a lot of chapters. I'm actually happy... Like the last, I don't know if you were, when was the last time you caught up? I caught up yesterday. I didn't, honestly, I'm, what did I read? I just, I think the last thing I read. You see the little linger? The flame spirit girl? How do you say her name? It's who will linger, right? Yeah. Did you see her? You missed the best part. I might have missed, because the last thing I remember is, mm-hmm. Fang you and her ah! sister. Bro, if you read another, like, five chapters, you would see actually one of the funniest and coolest things ever. Oh, no, 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 no. What? When she did the imitation? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, because I'll, I'll live it after that, because I remember they, she fang you, mm-hmm. and her sister just Got pushed to safety. No, 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 they, they killed that, um... That, the lady? That gay lady. Yeah. But then Long Chen, like, sent her son to safety. Oh, wait. No, that was after. Oh, that was after, yeah. No, 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 but who when you're doing that? So, cause, so that was when they entered the Heavenly Flame domain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she became Wan Chen. Like, yeah, yeah. Wan- that was so good. That was so uh, I was just laughing so hard. <laughs> and who are you? And she was like, what am I, your mommy? To be <laughs> 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 Old funny, how do you want to die? Dude. I was crying. Bro, I literally could not believe it. And then she used her, like, the famous ability, she was like, Golden Crow splitting the heavens. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. It was but actually, like, the highlight of the chapter. The comments me. were going crazy. Yeah. And she said, Old Foggy, how do you want to die? He's like, Long Chen was speechless. He's like, he almost fainted. He was like, she's imitated everything about her. Her, her voice is just female. Bro, no, no. my favorite absolute line when the, when the, fle- oh, when the, um, the three vein heaven spirit guy was like, who are you? How are you so powerful? And she was like, who do you think I am? Your mommy to give you these answers? <laughs> I literally died of laughter. But I was like, what am I reading right she now? Said, I'm not your mommy. I was like, what? Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, it was so was good. crazy. But yeah, I think so. where we left off, mm. you know, sadness descends here. The mm. devil, no, the heaven square seal. Yeah. Uh, city. Um, so... It, it ended up being bedeviled. Yep. Uh, Long Chen and Mo Neon, uh, when they went into Heaven Suppressing Mountain, I think that's what it's called. Yep. They failed to control the the devil body, mm-hmm. and it escapes, and it was preparing to merge with the seal, which the seal is still in the head. head. Yeah. And at the last moment, it tried to you know, uh, trick. Uh, what's his name? Um, oh, the big brother guy? Yeah. I, I don't know his name. Is it Ja? No, it's not Ja. It's, like, it's, it's something so similar. It's similar because he, he is the uh, guard of the Ja lineage. Mm-hmm, exactly. Um, but. He had to sacrifice his life to yeah. the seal. Yeah, so he destroyed. Or he didn't destroy the. It, I mean, he pretty much did destroy the seal. Yeah. He, he just, destroyed the seal and the. and the devil expert at the yeah. same time. So like he had to resurrect. Yeah, he sacrificed his life. So he was a one heaven, or no, he was like a half heaven being seen. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, Long Chen and Monian go on a rampage. They kill everyone there. Everybody. Everyone. They use, they use the, the formation that lowers your cultivation. Uh huh. And they slaughtered everyone. The Flame Divine Hall from Brom Pill Valley. Yeah. And then all the devil and demon races that were there. And so... Yeah, that was actually really Master. impressive. That Master. was impressive. It was a great. It was long as shit. Yeah, and Evil Moon, 
um, killed so many heaven saints that after this, it basically goes into like seclusion. Yeah, hibernation. Our seclusion's better. It goes into seclusion to like power up to the next level. Yeah, so that was crazy. They then escape to. Oh, well, one little quick fact here is that um, one of the people who messed up the seal in the first place <gasps> yes. was from the chess sect, right? Yeah, that saddened me. So, me so chess sect people wear masks. Mm -hmm. It's it's a. Uh, what's the word? A tradition? Yeah, I, I don't know if I say I, I guess it's a it's a tell tell sign. Yeah, of, a tell sign. Yeah. Yeah, of chess sec experts. Yeah. So they have specific masks. Not yeah. So he masks. was evil, and he just like he was just one of those people that likes to see the world burn, exactly. and not in the cute, nice way that you think like little girl toddlers do. Mm -hmm. It was in. I want to see the world literally on fire. People he screaming. Didn't give him a good reason. He didn't, yeah. he didn't say anything. He's just he, like he's just I being want, a dick. I just want to see the world burn. Yep. And so Long Shan and Mo Neon, uh, you know, they killed him. They yep. made sure to give him a little torture. And they ripped his mask off. Apparently his face was deformed. Yeah. So I don't know if that's a thing about the chest sec or if that was just just him, just yeah. him having a deformed face. But yeah, they they, they give him a, a night, a good death. Yeah. No, bad death. Yeah. Not a good death. A good death for us, a bad death for him. Yeah. So and so now the chess sect is permanently against Long Chen, and I think also because of this, the well, I think the chess sect was already going towards them, but now it seems like the chess sect is fully siding with Lord Brahma. Yeah. So because they they asked for a spot, uh, to go to the Heaven Flame domain, which at this time is opening in about six months, and that is how the, the experts at the current level will e reach the eternal realm. Yeah. So we can get eternal cabbages. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that happens, so it sucks, so the chess, well, actually no, because wasn't that guy that helped him part of the chess sect as well? I think you're talking about the calligraphy sect. Oh. Because, so, the, they, the chess sect is part of the four, I think they're called In Memoriam. Yeah, so it's chess, chess, zither, calligraphy. And inscription, maybe? No, I thought it was paint. painting. Painting. It might be painting. But that sounds like kind of like calligraphy. No, no, no. Calligraphy is writing. I know, but like, yeah, okay. Then maybe the fourth one is painting. Yeah, I know or that. At least imagery three. or something. it's like, yeah, it's like, and I think there's both. I imagine it's a, a brush. It's probably like they both use brushes, maybe as weapons. Mm. But it's probably like in the way like I might use words. Yeah. And I'll use images. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's fair. So. So those are the four, and we know at least one of them is saddled with brown. And the chest, and so I mean, that's the, the center sect. Is do we think they're signing with Brahma? They're not good people. That's true. I mean, we just saw they're at Brahma Pill Valley. The Zither? Yeah. Well, so you see, this is the thing I have with the Zither people. It seems like they go anywhere they're requested, but I don't know if that means... They didn't say they joined in the Tribulation. I... And specifically, that girl cannot kill people, so like she definitely didn't join the Tribulation. But I think it's a thing like it was in the mortal realm. Mm -hmm. I think the Zither sect is evil. Okay. That they just have some good people in there. Personally, I think that's just the way the Zither sect is. I think I think they're the same. To be honest, I agree. Just just especially because of the mortal realm. So I started thinking while you were talking, and like you just brought it up. Like I feel like the mortal realm will like reflect, or the mortal realm will reflect. The mortal realms. I mean, look at the. Remember, like they're called the four divine families. Yeah. And now Same thing. look at them in the mortal realm. And it's like, we saw, we saw them like, in eighth heaven, mm -hmm. and then obviously here in ninth heaven they're the same. Yeah. This is shitty. Yeah, so, I do think, what's her face, uh, Long Chen's girl, is gonna uproot the shit out of the other sect. Zion? Zion. Yeah. I think she's gonna... Well, like, that's also my other thing, because she has the... She's like... And she has the Dao Slaughter now, basically. Well, she's the a Primal Chaos item, which is... I don't know if it says it's either, but I mean... It's a Zither. It's yeah. a Zither. Yeah. So it's like, if she has it, and the Zither sect doesn't, that's like a huge sign that says, like, Zither sect's not a good sect. Yeah. So I think Zion is definitely gonna go over there. Is gonna have fight them, and it'll be like a little long chat arc where he captured, killed them. 
Yeah. Honestly, though, I don't think... I think it's going to be, like, not... Like, you know how a lot of times Longshan shows up, he has to save the day? Yeah. I don't think it's going to be like that for her. I feel like the amount of fury that she has and the amount of, oh, like... like the slaughter. woman in the mortal realm. Yeah. Because remember, she had... The Sovereign. Yeah. And I think she... Oh, yeah, she was a Sovereign. Yeah, not Zion, but the... The Han, Han Weak or yeah, something? Yeah, she but, was a, a Sovereign who... She was actually just a regular girl, and she got reborn as a Sovereign. But she was in the Sovereign, like... But she was on the... I think before she got reborn, she was in... She would follow the Zither path of slaughter. Mm-hmm. And I think Zion's gonna do the same. And I think when Long Chen shows up, she's gonna straight up be like, just... Just guard that one guy from hitting me. <laughs> and then she's going to literally like wreck everything yeah, else. I hope so. Because I, I believe she should get that. Yeah, that's one thing I, I'm really kind of... I'm kind of annoyed with it. Well, but the split up between all the... All these girls. I think it's just a super nerf that they're trying to do. Because if they were all together, they'd have to nerf the characters. The Dragon Blood Legion would be too strong. They really are too strong because all of them are like literally peak genius. Like they're like, they, they, I don't they, say they, peak geniuses, but they're peak. Like they're com- peak combat experts. Like I think if you're There's talking enough talent to fight those geniuses. I think you know when the when there's always a new arc. There's like they they call a bunch of them heavenly geniuses, um, and then there's like maybe like seven that are actually really strong. Mm-hmm. I think like all of his girls can like are at that level. Oh, no. oh, yeah, and, yeah, and there's like a top like two that like they can't touch, but everybody under that they can write. I think Xeon will be one of the will probably be the strongest because she has a chaos item, and I think if I had to make another guess, I'd say you pill fairy. Really, I don't think so because they talk so much about how she's not really a fighter. Yeah, but she has she has Julie bloodline and then the heaven the rainbow and, flame. Yeah, and her pill Dow. Like we'll probably like we saw what um uh the Earth Cauldron showed up that new cultivation method mm-hmm. for pill cultivators. Yeah. She'll probably do that. I think I think she will do that, but I just can see uh, Zeon being stronger. Um original devil girl. I have faith in her. I just do. I think she'll be strong against Dev. Well, maybe she'll perform better against Devils because I think those those guys will probably be like the last final. Because she has ultimate suppression on them. Yeah. But I think, so she'll be really strong. And then the last one, I want to say Chu Chu Yao. No. I don't Chu, think that's... that's Chu Yao. Chu Yao. Chu Yao. Sorry. Chu Yao. But it won't be her. It'll be the Undead Willow who's by her side. Lu... How do you say her name? Lu Ruyan. Her. Every time she shows up, she's an animal. Bro, she decimates Nanky. everybody. Nanky. Nanky's I, going crazy with this. Well, soul, okay, bro. okay. I also agree with Nanky. I think Nanky will, like, overall get the most kills, but I don't think she'll ever really, like, fight a peak person. She doesn't really fight peak people, bro. She just wipes out armies. She's about to be a Jedi, bro. Mind trick. I think she is going to come. When she shows up, though, she better get a god tier entrance. Her and, um,. What's her Tang? name? No, no, no. Her, the bird. Oh, Cloud? Cloud. Yes, yeah, her and Cloud. They're going to go crazy. Crazy combo. Because Chu Yao and Lu Lu, they work together. They do work together. the same way. Oh, uh, wait. That combo might be better. Bro, they, they've been hyping her. Also, she's the undead willow. Yeah, those guys, those guys are strong. Nah, yeah, you, you're probably right. It probably is true. Every time she shows up, they say Wait, she's a monster. Wait, you're forgetting about the ice girl. Ice is always OP, bro. Facts. And she has a sword. The facts, but I feel like they've always nerfed her. They have. Honestly, she should get way more love. I think it's because she's a silent, like, ice queen. So, <sighs> like, they just kind of, like, toss her to the side a bit. I hate that, because, like, she's the type, her character type is the type to fall behind other characters. I agree. I'm just like, bro. Even though I don't think that should be the case. You should be. I. She needs more screen time f- mm. for her to like keep up with everyone else. Yeah. Cause yeah. Like right now, I think the the Dragon Blood member who's gotten the most play besides like Gu Ron is um. This is Yu Zifeng. Yu Zifeng, you already know, bro. This man's been 
Decimating. Not Gu- Gu- Yang. Nah, bro. He's up there, though. Yi Zifang, bro. He literally talked about, like, an actual, like, god. Yeah. Wherever he goes. Like, he, he, is, like, he is. He is always talked like that. And then, like, as soon as, like, he leaves somewhere, like, he's even said, he's the only person in the Dragon Ball Legion who go watch Lan Chen's back. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. Like, crazy. he knows that, like, anybody that can fight Lan Chen, he can fight him too. I like, he might not win, but he can fight. That's true. He's secondary protagonist over him. Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he really does. I love that guy. Uh, yeah. That is true. Everyone does. He can have his own sword. I just wish sword. I just wish the sword down and the novel was not done the way it is. They just. They I think it's up so hard. Well, because yeah, I think it's. I love the fact that it's like so dominant, was, like over like that is money. I guess like it's so. Op- I like that it's so op, but I hate that at the same time I hate it because it's just like I'm gonna throw out three slashes and I'm. Done. Done, yeah. and it's just like I wish it was a little bit more traditional of like one with the sword wasn't so one with the sword I'm out in like three hits like I understand like the OP like attack power mm. but it's like you couldn't do that in another way like like I think it just is hard to do it in this novel because of the and I think just the cabbage count yeah. makes it difficult because if, if it was a regular story when you get to these levels like there shouldn't be that many people that can really like fight you yeah. At the same time. So if it was a regular story, he would be like just like insane. You see Fang, yeah, he would be I think he would he would be too overpowered. Yeah. I think it would be hard to balance. They have to general. like make the numbers. Yeah. Or else he would literally just be like the main character. Yeah. Yeah, cause now cause now they use Yu Fang as he's the trump card. Like yeah. I'm gonna give you an opening and I know you're gonna hit it mm-hmm. and then save the day. Yeah. Like, to, instead of like there's two like peak geniuses, you get one, I get the other. Okay. Okay. I I would have liked that, but it would it would be hard because that means every time I'm a chance to fight, mm-hmm. it's like okay, we need to make up another character for you Z fame to fight. Like something. I remember when he like finally heard the name of his sword. That was sick. Bro. Yeah, it was. You Wave are Cutter. Wave Cutter. And slice, yeah, and just like literally just decimated. <sighs> yeah, it was sick. Yeah. It, it is sick. It it is. It's just I wish there was two. The only reason I'm saying that is because I want more of it. But yeah. Alright, we got so off topic. Alright. Yeah. So Heaven Burial City, it ended with the destruction of the whole city. Everybody either died or evacuated. All of the other four cities that were not part of the main city, Longchen and Monion, decimated them. Yeah. Um and then the Pill Valley Palace Master showed up. He was like a two main heaven expert. And um Moni and Long Chan basically set up a super explosion and then they dip on him. Well no, he dipped on them. And then they left. Remember he, no. es- he escaped. Because they tried to kill no, him. That's the Vice Palace Master. Oh, 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 oh yeah, you said the four cities. Oh yeah, when they went to the four cities. Mm. Because oh, but they you forgot they killed the Vice Palace Master. Yeah, yeah. Because they went in they went in, they met with the Feather Race. Yeah. Feather Spirit Race. Feather Spirit Race. They went in they were tracking the vice palace master. They killed him. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, they set up that bomb for when they left to blow up in their faces. Mm-hmm. And then the chess sect and them talked about yeah doing going to Brahma Pill Valley. And they got the chess sect is giving some sort of sovereign um, item over to the Pill Valley. Yeah, in exchange, like and because Brahma would need it, so we know sovereign key. Mm-hmm. It better be the last. It's not. It's the last. No, no, no. Sub stages. It'll be sub stages. It'll be sub stages. It'll be like God Sovereign. Yeah. Or something yeah. like that. Or Mortal Sovereign. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it's not like that, yeah. So then after that, Monia go basically goes directly to the Pill Valley. Um, what? Monia. He can go directly there. Well, they split up, and we just know he goes there. Oh, we know he goes there eventually. Yeah, but and we don't really hear any of his tales. So yeah, we don't hear it. Yeah, but we just know, like, they said they're going to meet in six months in Bromfield Valley. Yeah. So he goes off on his own. Mm-hmm. Longchen goes to the, to the Long Clan and the Heavenly Desolation Domain to, mm-hmm. because his father went there and his father told him to go there, mm-hmm. even though he didn't want to go. Yeah. And so he gets there, runs into some... Mercenary? Long, yeah, mercenary. Oh, yeah. Mercenaries. Mm-hmm. You know... And they go out, you know, they, he does the whole play the pig, the 
uh, to eat the tiger type shit. Oh, I'm sorry, man. And he goes, and they're just like, oh, we're they're nice people, so like, oh, we're gonna take you out because you look like you know, you look like a young master of a noble clan who's never fought before. Yeah. I'm just like, oh man, y'all got fool. <laughs> and so they go out and do this mission. They run, they run into like some long clan members. Yeah, well, I was gonna say they run into a monster that they kill. Oh, yeah. Long clan members like this is our kill. Yeah. It's like, all right. This is all the typical thing. And then thing. Long Chen <laughs> slaps the shit out of them. And then Long Clan fashion, he kills one, another one shows up, until another one shows up, until, like, literally one of the four, one of the old four Heavenly Saints shows up. And then, like, it was a whole thing. Yeah, it was basically, like, he, so he ran into the 10th rank on the Heaven, or so there's a Heaven rankings, he ran into the 10th rank, beat his ass into the ground, because that guy kept saying, the elders keep saying, I'll never beat you. Yeah. You know, he challenged him, lost. He was like, you're you're big bro now. Yeah, I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, different authors would sit up on yeah. us. So that was nice. Um, and then we find out the reason his father lured him over here was because, one, the people in the... The Long Clan. Well, not the Long Clan. I was talking about the regular mercenaries. Sorry, in the Heavenly Desolation Domain. Yeah. There, they have Julie rooms. Yeah, they're we part f- of the Julie race. We find out them and the Long Clan are a part of the Julie, Julie race. This is the Long Clan just possesses um, Southern Color Supreme Blood. Yeah. Um, but apparently, it's pretty rare to awaken all seven, seven, seven colors. Yeah. So no one's done it except for Long Chen, his father, and then the peak expert Wong Tianru. Yep. Tian Rui, sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. Yeah, we don't know why they've been treating them so badly, but basically Long Chen gives them the Star, Star River, River Sky. Yeah. They transform, they awaken their Julie Runes. Um, also his father had like his slaughtered his way in into the Long Clan. He slaughtered the fourth Heaven Saint, cut his arm off. Mm-hmm. Was about to fight the first Heaven Saint, and then the Patriarch got him to, to both calm down and he set a rule saying Giving the mercenaries some extra room to yeah. like hunt. Honestly, this whole arc was very, very long. Very, I feel like yeah. it was a little drawn out. It was very drawn. And the gist of it, because Long Shine didn't really fight anybody cool here either. Not until the end. Like he basically, they were basically just politicking. Like, yeah. So, oh yeah, because the other reason they sent him over here was Julie. What was the treasure called? The Julie Tower. There's a Julie Tower and there's something else. There was like some sort of liquid baptism. Like a div- divine pool. Oh, the divine pool. That <coughs> one was really big because they made Hua Linger and Lu Linger into Heavenly Chosen. Yep. So they were finally, they finally um, could communicate with the Heavenly Tao. Okay. And they can, uh, they can like permanently be outside of the primal chaos. Yeah. yeah. If they want to be. Like they could become people. Yeah, yeah. like regular people. So, um, that's crazy. Yeah. They literally were birthed from, like, a mortal realm. Yeah. And they're now, like, heavenly doings. Yeah. Or heavenly children. That's crazy. But, yeah, now a Long Chen's blood, his Southern Colored Supreme blood, and his Violet blood mm-hmm. finally got stronger. And it was funny because it attacked his dragon blood. Yeah, instantly. Yeah. And they tried to, you know, fight for supremacy. Mm-hmm. And then... They he, got a stalemate. Yep, and he uses Violet Blood to Mediate. calm them both down. I forget what else he did, but he get, he got power. I don't remember what. So he got a really cool power from the Earth Cauldron, who taught him a technique called the God Slaying Cross. Yes. And so basically, it's a nine star power, and it's the it's like called the nine star cross or something like that. God Slaying, God Killing Cross. God Killing Cross, and. Long Chen basically learned some... He can only learn it once he hits the turnaround. And when he can basically get his 8th star. Yeah. But the Earth Cauldron taught him a way to use it beforehand. And it was with his blood. And so at first he learned how to use it with his Violet Blood. Then his... Seven Color Supreme. Seven Color Supreme. And then he learned how to use it with his Dragon Blood. And when he learned how to use it with, with his Dragon Blood, he got Sacred Energy. Yeah. I believe. No, no. He got Sovereign Key. That's what it is. No, he awakened the Sovereign. Yeah, he awakened his sovereign key, which basically makes him like a true like sovereign dragon sort of kind of. Yeah, it's just like it'll it basically like bloodline suppression on pretty much yeah. every dragon or every beast. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was cool. So well, seeing him awaken his powers, I'm really hoping for that crazy power up. 
of true power merging. This was one thing we were pissed about, uh, is that he told us is that he doesn't really use the power of his bloodlines outside of his dragon bloodline. Uh, and I was pissed, because I was just like, didn't we have a whole arc I'm saying he merged all his powers? Why is this not... Where, why? So I'm just like, so now in, like, in my hand, I'm just like, well, I guess that makes sense for why his power up was ass, because so he was not using two of his... Three. The number one bloodlines in the human race. That is seven color supreme blood is top tier. Like we see how that line. strong his dad is. And that's just he just uses that one bloodline. One bloodline. I understand like merging it should be difficult, but man, there's so many like references I can already like make up in my head for it like to work. It's just like it just wasn't properly. Talked about. They just said he merged it, so we assumed he merged it and so used the power. And it's like, what about his supreme bone? What about his spirit root? They just said he they're literally just, doesn't they're use just it. Sadding, they're just sitting there. Literally just chilling. They're just, it's like they're just being used to like fill in space. It's like, yeah. okay, you couldn't advance if you didn't have them. It's like, okay, what what about actually using them? Yeah, literally. So and that pissed both of us off. So hopefully. The author for the eighth star <laughs> writes in, "Hey, I figured out a way to use the blood. We'll see. I mean, he. I thought when they were doing, because you know, for the cross, he had to merge his blood into the power of the stars yeah. in order to do it. So I was like, okay. That first of all, he has violet stars. Mm -hmm. The violet blood, violet stars thing. It was like, oh, are they related? I was like, you." Yeah, he just it was like, it was like, oh my god, they must be related. And I was like, bro, we knew that about 1700 chapters ago. <laughs> I was like, and you guys didn't think, because originally, remember when they were merging the dragon runes and it stopped halfway mm -hmm. and he needed his talents to fully merge them? I was like, one, we never talked about the complete merge after that. Mm -hmm. And two, when you were doing these merges with the stars in here, you didn't think, hey, maybe. I should, like, merge all three of them in there somehow. Mm. In my stars, since the nine stars from body are my foundation here. Mm. What's going just, on? It was just, you know. What, what is going just... on, bro? Like, yeah. I understand he doesn't have Julie techniques, but it's just like, we can just use it as, like, a base standard and increase it as he learns techniques as we go. Like, this is ridiculous. 100%. So basically, this arc, Wan Chen, at the end of the day... The, um, the Long Clan schemes with the other three Divine Clans to take the Earth Cauldron because Long Chen lets them use it while he's in the Long Clan. And they signed a contract basically stating that after Long Chen finishes um, with the competition that they do, that he's not a part of, he's the referee. When the, um, it finishes, they'll release the Earth Cauldron and it'll go to whoever it wants. Obviously, Long Chen's already his master, so it'll go back to Long Chen. But the Earth Cauldron was using the, the clans to awaken one of its core rooms. Once it awakens, um, the other four clans, the four clans basically set up a trap to kill Long Chen, and he decimates the whole Heavenly Desolation domain, killing basically. I think all four powers lost all their peak people. They lost all their Heaven Saints yep. except the Long Clan they kept were... their patriarch. Yeah, because he was no. a three Heaven Saint. And the third saint, the woman. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they also had their guy, um... Uh, he's, like, uh, the enforcer or something. Or the judge. Or the... Oh, the, the, the mortal, um... The earth. The elder. Yeah, there's a, there's a, a heaven overseer? Yes, so and he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a earth, earth saint. Mom. Earth saint, yeah. But he's... His cultivation art is is uh, it's like stacked. So yeah. the longer he stays in our saint, the stronger he'll become when he breaks through. Mm. Um, so that's why no one messes with him because it'll be strong shit once he breaks through. So he'll probably come through as a human emperor later or something. Something like that, but yeah, yeah. So and then obviously the patriarch stupid when he came out tried to kill Long Chen failed Long Chen leaves Liang Tanru calls him an idiot and yeah. then she says she's gonna go search for other Long Clan members so there's a third iteration of the Long Clan somewhere what would that to be expected because this Long Clan was weak as shit but yeah it really was for the ninth heaven for the ninth heaven I was like we barely have any resources to awaken the Earth culture I'm like I 
It sounds like it makes sense, but the reality is that it doesn't make sense. Because it's like you control a whole ass domain. There's devils around you. Those cores should be piling up like crazy. I'm honestly shocked they weren't. Like, they should have been like crazy with the resources. Yeah, because it's like if you're slaughtering all these bodies, mm-hmm. they gotta have value. Yeah. And I know the corpses themselves have so much value. Obviously, once you rip them through, they have to, like, waste it. Like Yeah, but it's like over time, over millions of years, you should have crazy resources. Especially also your reputation as a Julie clan, even though people might not know that. Like, you should be, you should be strong on what they were. Yeah. Like, their patriarch literally just broke through to become a three-heaven saint. And then right after this arc, Longchamp goes to Pill Valley... And we find three heaven saints everywhere. Yeah. So we find out one clan is trash. Yep. So yeah. That was kind of disappointing. You know long. what? I'm giving it. They're definitely a branch of the real long clan that's deeper yeah. in the sovereign heaven. Has to be. Well, and like, you know what it is? You know, I just thought of this right now. They always say that only like 10% is actually like human and other races lands. And every the other 90% is just straight wilderness. Bro, we're going to find out later. That deep into that wilderness and like the core of the ninth heaven is actually where all the real powers are, and all of those ones on the outskirts were just like the bitch ones left on the side. I think you're exactly right, especially because of what Long Tiandru said. She yeah. said she's going to go find remnants of the Long Clan. In she ain't gonna find the remnants. She's gonna find the. Real. She's gonna find the real thing, mm-hmm. and we also have to remember, like I don't, I don't think like. Maybe these clans give us the wrong perception, but I'm wondering, like, if these clans in their prime, how big they were. When you think about it, like, yeah. like if you're the number one clan in the human race, mm-hmm. at the peak of the human race, how big was your clan? Yeah. And been you had four families. So it's like, there's probably, like, a bunch of branches. Should have been huge. Should've yeah. Been huge. So maybe that's why this long clan's ass. It's just a small branch. Kind of like, um... The Luo family, and they found their purple branch that was sealed away. Oh, you mean uh, the violet color race? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. It's probably similar to that. It must be. They didn't say it, but that must be what it is. Otherwise, I hope so, just... because if we run into this a third time, like. Garbage? Of like, well, we're the Long Clan, but we're searching for the real Long Clan. I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> yeah, bro, like, we're in the ninth heaven. And at that point, we'd be at the core of the ninth heaven. We, we can't go any further. It's like, like, no, the core, core. No, no, no. This is, it's like, that was outer, this is inner. We're going to the core. I was like, bro, can you just stop? We're in the outer, inner, now we're in the divine part of the ninth heaven. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that was, that whole thing was like probably like 70, 80 chapters. It was really long, and that's why I was just like, we kind of just get over it. Because this is like... We don't need to talk about it. And like, it was a lot of people, but like, they won't probably be important. Let me sum it up to you. Typical face slapping. Mm. He he killed the geniuses of the Yi and Zhao clan. Mm. Um, Fang Fei was there. Oh, Fang Fei was cool. So, oh, and she and she saved the Zhang clan because she's or no, she saved part of the Zhang clan mm. because she stopped their genius from attacking Lao Chen. And uh, this pretty much confirmed. It's not confirmed, but it's like 90% of them there. She's going to be part of the harem. Yeah. They were flirting a lot, and she basically let him know, like, hey, I love you. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know why they're teasing it. Me either at this point. Unless, you know why they're teasing it? I, it's, it makes sense. She's going to die? No, she's going to go back to the real Fang clan. The Jane clan. clan. <laughs> and save him. Yeah. Oh, this is how they, they tie him down to the Julie clan. Yeah. They're being like, Oh, like, that's her, that's his girl. Yeah. So it's like, we know his loyalty lies here because she's for the Jane clan. And so he'll he's unite, for her. he'll unite, she'll finally, because you know, every single time, like, the long clan we show to so the long clan, we're like, oh, this is the real long clan, and then we find out it's not. She's doing the same thing with the Jane clan, the Jane clan. And so when she finally gets to the real one, they'll finally listen to her. Because, you know, the other ones, she tries to, like, convince them, like, don't go against Long Chen, don't go against Long Chen, and they always do. Yeah. Maybe this time they finally listen to her, and he gets their support. It's true, it's true. That's a theory for me. I like that theory. I hope that theory's true. Yeah, this is kind of bullshit at this point. And then, oh, also during this, he goes from, like, so he went from the fourth heaven stage, 
and during pill um during the heaven suppressing seal back to the first heaven stage when he went to the long clan because he had to use um a special ability and then to fight the palace master i believe and, the oh, and then the truly treasure brought him back to 10 or 11 all the way to 12. all the way to 12. he's at the the great circle okay so he's ready to to go from the divine veteran realm into the eternal realm and that's where we go to pill valley and we go all the way to Pill Valley, and we meet up with the White Dragon Clan. What are they called? Yep, White Dragon Clan. The White Dragon Clan. And the White Dragon Clan are actually not there. So, so they're in, in Pill Valley, right? So you think they're, like, allies with Pill Valley. But the dragons, or at least the White Dragons, are not. And they're like, we're here to, we're here to ring the bell. We're here to die. Yeah, well, we're here to martyr ourselves so that the rest of the dragon race stops relying on Brahma. And... You know, basically goes to war. Yeah, so they they're there to sacrifice themselves, mm -hmm. and Long Chen's like, hold, the hold guys, up. as a as your as a human. Yeah. Let me rationalize this for you, because yeah. I know your dragons are you're straightforward. Yeah. What you're doing is stupid. Basically, it won't work. No. Yeah. And you're just die for no reason. Mm. Bec and he was right, because he was just saying, how many people have already fallen. And if you die, will those people care about your deaths? No. Mm -hmm. The people who are already fence-sitting, maybe. But for how long will your deaths have done anything? Because people who don't want to join Brahma, they're already not going to join it. Yeah. The people who are fence-sitting. If you die, that's just one less strong power on the non-Brahma side that they lose. And you got to think about it. like it, This isn't like a uh, one-year, two-year thing. It's been like for a million years that Brahma's been in, like, seclusion, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, whoever wanted to turn will turn. Yeah. Like, it's over at this point. So, Wang Chen's like, no, I'll help you out. Here we find um, Feng Yu again from the Mixed Beast race, and she's regretting that she didn't go with Long Chen back in the day. And we actually, Long Chen saves her after she finally decides, like... To, it, yeah, because he was saying, if she keeps push stepping back, yeah. I'm not going to help her. Mm -hmm. Because... I can only help people who want who want to be helped. Want to be helped. It's like even if I do help her, how many times can I keep helping her? Like she needs to stand her own two feet. Yeah. So she was getting bullied by the genius of the beast alliance race, mm -hmm. and when she said "fuck it," I'm gonna kill you because you're annoying because you suck. Yeah, and you you're step about, in on me, basically. Yeah. And she was about to give her away to some violent thunderbird prince. Yep. She was like, "I'm attacking," yeah. and then Nanshan saved her. And there was a bunch of more little politics and stuff. Oh, also here, we technically meet a fake human emperor. So again, the heaven saints go to nine heaven veins. And once you have the nine heaven veins, you have to merge them into one to become a human emperor. So we thought we get introduced to this guy who's the domain lord of this um, glacial valley. Is that what it's called? Or, yeah. So. so glacial valley. Oh, we also find out Lord Brahma has eight domains in... Um, in the sovereign heaven, and this isn't one of them for some reason, yeah. which makes no sense to me. The Brahma control, like they control most of the land. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, they control most of the land in the ninth heaven. That's not wilderness. Yeah, and so the domain that we find out is a human emperor. Later, we find out that he's a, like a fox human emperor. He's probably like a half step human emperor who started emerging but hasn't completed it. And with his the um. Divine power that he gets from Lord Brahma, he can like technically fight as a human emperor. I thought that was crazy, cause like just before the Long Clan's strongest person was a three heaven main. He ran into a human emperor right off. We skip six heaven mains, and we t we meet like a couple. We meet a bunch of three heaven mains people here. They they kind of become like cabbage, mm -hmm. and then we see some four, five, and six as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was yeah. Power scaling is, yeah, it's kind of out of it's, control. It's been through the roof. It's yeah, it's out of control ever since Del Moro. It's just like yeah, I don't. He doesn't know what he's doing anymore. I gotta say, I gotta uh, say. I yeah, I just hope that. Uh, I just want more more lore from the Chaos Era. Yeah, I think we've been getting some of it, but not enough. Mm -hmm. Like oh, for example, we do see. Three duplicates of Primal Chaos items. Yes. And we find out that the dagger 
that um, Long Shan used to have, the Black Dagger that he, he gave to, to Dong Min Yu. Dong Min Yu was actually a replica of one of the Divine Chaos items. Yeah. The Primal Chaos item. Of a uh, halberd? Like yeah, a halberd. halberd. Yeah, and it was like the top of it. And it was it was a replica, that's the only reason it, it chipped. Yeah. But uh, that was cool, so that means back in the day he had the Earth Cauldron, part of the Desolate Halberd, and what's the other one? He had a third one. Yeah, yeah, they said he had a third one. Is Evil Moon? Evil Moon, yeah, yeah, yeah Evil Moon. There it is. About that. Yeah. So we found out so that it's not just called Desolate Halberd, but that's just what I remember from yeah. the name. Let me f- I find out the Ten Worlds diagram. Mm-hmm. So it's said to illuminate the ten he- Nine Heavens and Ten Earths. Yeah. We still don't know what Ten Earth is. Ten uh, Lands, though? Ten Lands, Ten Earths is. Nine heavens and ten lands. I didn't do this. Anyways, yeah, we find those three replicas, and we actually pick up the. Earth, there's an earth cauldron replica, or no, no, it's a heaven cauldron replica. Yes. And Long Chen buys it, and we finally get. Uh, what's her name again? The Ling. Uh, Linger. Uh, yeah, okay. Linger. Linger. The demon. The demon cauldron. cauldron. Yeah. And we were just like, I was like, throwback. Literally, I forgot about it, bro. I'm pretty sure there's another. There's definitely another treasure he has that's asleep too. I think. I don't remember. Off the top he has. He has another spirit in there yeah. that's like lost. Well, she finally came back, and they gave her a new name. I think it's like Lay Linger. No, no, no. no. Not Lay. But they they gave her for uh. Lo uh, Linger. No. Lee I think it's Yay Linger. Like Yao Linger. No, Yao Linger. Yeah. They gave it Yao Linger so that it's not to be confused with Hu Linger and Lei Linger. Yeah. And so that was pretty cool. So now she's the Demon Moon Cauldron. Oh, crazy fact. Mm-hmm. The Earth Cauldron stated that some divine craftsmen crafted those de- replicas to steal the faith or karmic, karmic energy. luck from the original Primal Chaos items. That's crazy. There's definitely an enemy. That is crazy, He's yeah. He's definitely trying to mess them up. Mm-hmm. So, you got your will. Those, so even though those are replicas, they're kind of the real deal if you make the best of them. That is true. So that was pretty cool. Also, another point is that like the seclusion that Evil Moon went in after the Heaven Suppressing Steel City was pretty short. But after the Long Clan, he went into like a real seclusion. And through this next arc, he's pretty much, like, and Yeah. Yeah. Because he killed, like, Long Chen legitimately killed, like, over 200 Heaven Saints there. So, like, Evil Moon finally got a big power-up. Um, Did we get any 9-star Lord Rings? We, well, we actually completed, finally, the, we got all the... Oh, the, the ingredients for the 8-star. Star. We get the name of the 8-star, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Nirvanic. Yeah. Charge. Pill. Yeah, and basically, like, it, the power is so strong that he has to, like, create, like, bad pills. To get used to it. To eat the good ones. Yeah. Which is crazy. I agree. I I mean, agree. That's so domineering. It really is. And that eighth star better be insane, because he's been at seven star for, like, since World King? Or since yeah, before that? I think since... I think since he was be trying to become a World King, yeah. when he was an Immortal King, he had seven stars. Because his, ar- his arm has just been changing a yeah. lot. But, like, he's been... Which is crazy. So, it's like... What? Well, that they star man... I better... That better be, like... a big, like, barrier. That, cha- that chapter better be legendary. Yeah, that would be... Like, I need it to be, like... If I'm messing everybody up... Brahma Pill... You better run straight to Brahma Pill Valley. Like, I'm a new man! Yeah. So... Where we go into the... Um, the divine, uh, the glacial flame, tribulation area. Um, before we get in there, uh, we find out Moniyan's actually here, disguised as one of the elders, and slaps one of the, um, the like the direct disciples. So we actually find out he's a divine son of Lord Brahma, and there's only eight divine sons. So he slaps the shit out of him. And then he runs in, he goes in, <laughs> and then Long Chen's like, "Oh, I need to double up." And he slaps the human emperor. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. And during this process, a good important fact here is that the Fusang trees were kind of capped out. They weren't really growing anymore. 
But we find out that the food saying trees are are correlated with golden crows. Like the the golden crows, if they get strong enough, they'll create their own like food saying tree, and like the other way around as well. They're like a symbiotic relationship. And so when Long Chen kills Heavenly Chosen from the Golden Crow race, they actually create Golden Crows on the Fu Sang trees in his Primal Chaos Speed, and Hua Linger can summon them as real like people, but they're just like obviously like her puppets. Yeah. And it, it also creates a huge breakthrough in the trees' growth. They can finally keep growing. And before it was stated like the tree hearts of the the Fu Sang trees. Oh, the Fu Sang trees that Long Chen had are like third rank trees, and there's only one warm single ring tree in the whole golden crow race so him having like three thousand i think it is a three um three rank trees like and now they're growing they're probably gonna hit second rank pretty soon that's pretty insane yeah because like those golden crow because i think right then he he took out a tree heart from the food sanctuary and like the golden crow race was like salivating they're like oh, only our greatest elder has one of them <laughs> So yeah, and then we go into the, the the tribulation area and we find out that Brahma is working with devils. Once again, no shocker. Yep, so the terrestrial devils, it's basically a trap. He sends people in there to get devoured by devils because some of the devils become smarter as they eat more humans. Mm -hmm. So Long Chen finally realizes why the human race cannot fight the extraterrestrial devils because it's like supplying, it's helping your own enemy. Yeah. So when well, I see the Dragon Ball Legion and decimate with those little casualties. Yeah. But no one's like that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um basically a huge trap. They let so it seems like the um, Brahma's people they they like if you have enough faith they let you go to the core area, which basically means the devils won't attack you mm -hmm. and you can go through your tribulation like that. But Lan Chan is like F that, I'm going to explore this area, and he finds out, he lets himself get captured, and he finds out, I don't know if you got to this part. Okay, um, so he, I, I just don't remember. Okay, he finds out that there's actually, like, a human emperor fetus in the, um, in the middle of, it's called, like, a devil spirit, that, that everybody, everybody gets captured there is getting fed to, like, the heavenly chosens, at least. And so, the reason they're using heavenly chosens only is because they're taking away the Heavenly Chosen power that, that connects them to the Heavenly Dows and giving it to the fetus to directly grow a human emperor. Yeah. And so when the human, when that, like, the devil comes out of the cocoon, it'll be straight, it'll be automatically a human emperor. That's cool. And, but Longchamp finds it while it's still in fetus form, cuts it open, feeds it a poison pill, kills it. So it's like, <laughs> so it never really gets to awake. And then inside of the cocoon is like, is like you know the um the primal amethyst. Yeah. They have like a little strand of the um, the grand key. Inside of the fetus, there's like a bunch of grand key, like a, a large amount of it. And the earth cauldron says um once he takes it and it pur purifies it through the golden lotus, he can use it. Evil moon can use it. And, like, I think the Primal Chaos Speed in general can use it. And it's, like, gonna basically, like, unlock them like crazy. Damn. And what else happened there? And also, we find out here that the Golden Lotus is working here again. Like, when he kills devils. It oh, yeah, he's stronger. Up. Yeah, so the Golden Lotus is probably coming into play here. Bro, someone tell us what this thing is. <laughs> For real. And at the end, where I caught up to yesterday is Long Chen starts fighting the Divine Son. Of Lord Rama, which there's only eight of, and he starts fighting him, and he's probably gonna get wrecked. And I th oh, and even one's about to awaken. Oh, don't look back yeah. I can't wait to see how this one ends. Him becoming an eternal. Um. Oh yeah, we did get a little Dragon Ball Legion action. One of them showed up to the Long Clan, um, and Long Clan just tells um tells him like, hey, take my people, the mercenaries from here, go back and go through the tribulation together. And the Earth Cauldron said that the Dragon Ball Legion was getting too dependent on Long Chen. So they were, he was like, you gotta let them do this by themselves. Yeah. So that was good. That was good. I like that. And that's pretty much it for now, Star. Yeah. I hope the... I hope after we become Eternals, mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Legion has a nice little war with Brahma. Mm -hmm. At least something. 
We also got a tidbit of his father, I believe. We find out that this is in like the latest chapter. We find out that um the we they talk the divine son is talking to the devil experts because they're like together. Uh, it was a little fuzzy because I'm not gonna lie, I was reading it. I woke up randomly at like two in the morning last night and I read it, so it was a little fuzzy. And it's pretty important information though, so I'm gonna reread it. That the devils are like going after the violet blood race, and the violet blood race recently got like a lot stronger. And Long Chan's like, oh, maybe that's the vi my violet blood race people that like he helped his grandpa go into. Remember, mm -hmm. he thinks maybe those guys showed up to the violet blood race and helped them get stronger. And so he said they're having trouble um, taking down the Violet Blood Race. And they also said something about, I think, somebody who has a seven spirit blood. And that, like, one guy showed up and started wrecking their shit. <laughs> he's like, oh, that's my dad. <laughs> so we get another tidbit of his dad. He's out there killing devil experts somewhere. Seeing how strong his dad is makes me so frustrated, bro. Yeah, I don't, like, I guess... They do all. They did always say back in the day that if Long Chan worked as a solo unit, he would be way stronger. Oh, they yeah. used to quit, say that a lot. They don't say it anymore, but it still stands. It does stand a hundred percent. So like, it's not a stand. He takes care of too many people. But damn man, when you see his dad, it's like why can't he be his dad, bro? Like his dad is so ugly. Like what are they gonna like nerf his dad? Because at this point, like, I don't that think, is main character. I mean, they're, <laughs> not, they're not gonna nerf him until. Like, literally the peak. Yeah. Like, until he surpasses his dad. Then yeah. Gets but how? If his dad's literally charging through realms faster than him. He'll stop it somehow. He, he obviously... Probably the Emperor realm. Whatever, it, like, the ending of the Emperor realm is. Okay. Because his dad is OP. His dad is OP. I like that. I love it. There's more that the the, the Divine Son and the Delvery's talked about, but it's, like, slipping my mind. But it was some important stuff. Yeah. So, we should read it. You should definitely read it. I'm going to reread it. No, I'll definitely read it. And um, after this battle, they're probably going to go rank up to a turn around. A star. Meet up with Dragon Ball Legion. I don't really know where we go from here, though. Me neither. I have no idea. You think this is where we start uncovering the rest of the... Well, do you think either we rebel against Pill Valley first, or we go into the wilderness? Maybe we fight Pill Valley, mm -hmm. and then go up to the wilderness. I agree, because I feel like you have to unite the area before you explore. Yeah. So, yeah, I can see that happening. Oh, um, oh, another thing is the devils are saying they were having trouble, because I think nearby in this area, actually, it's called, like, the Endless Desolation. That's our, probably our next destination, because they call it the Endless Desolation. I don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's, it might be the wilderness. Might be the, yeah, the price. Sounds like the wilderness. So that's where the Violet Blood Race is. That's where the original devil race is. They're trying to oh. annihilate the original devil race, but they can't. And I think that's where his girl is, obviously. Okay. Yeah. And then there's somebody else there. And then the long and then Long Chan's dad showed up there, so the long plan's probably there. Yeah. So yeah, that actually makes sense with the theory we talked about. Yeah, yeah. So like endless desolation is probably just somewhere in the wilderness. Now that yeah, because they're gonna put that together. <laughs> they'll have to fight the Pill Valley because of what Long Chan and Yan will do. Yeah. When they break through. And because the, the pill battle will probably fight them when they go to back to the academy. Also, like the way they introduced human emperors already, but we're not yet eternal, makes me think that as soon as Long Chen hits eternal, he's gonna be able to fight. Like, cause right now he can't even fight three heaven veins. Yeah. But I'm thinking once he becomes an eternal, he can kill nine veins. You think so? Maybe not kill, but he can fight them. I think he can kill six veins, seven, eight, and I think he can fight nine. Yeah. I don't think he'll be able to... I think he'll still have to run from Human Emperor. Oh, yeah. But I think the Fox Human Emperor that they talk about, not Fox as an F-O-X, like F-A-U-X. Yeah. Like, um, like, fake Human Emperor. Quasi. Quasi Human Emperor. I think he'll somehow, like, cut off his, like, divine energy or something, and is going to be able to kill him. Yeah. So, yeah, I think you're right. Kill nine have veins, actually. That'll be good. And I've been loving the Moni on Long Chen duo. Yeah, I like it too. It's always good. I'm telling you, man, once once you I really hope we get the Blood Dragon Boat Legion, yeah. the girls and Moni together, yeah. it'll be crazy. 
And maybe we get some people from the Marshall Heaven Alliance to show up at some point. Who knows? Oh, yeah. We still have to find them because the Dragon Sovereign did send them somewhere. Yeah. He, His he, dad is there. His mom is there. Well, they're in they're the, the Mortal world. world. I'm just talking more they're about They're not them. in the Mortal World. I thought he, he brought them to the Mortal World. No, he didn't. I thought he did. No, he sent them to another Mortal World that wasn't... That was peaceful. Really? I thought he sent them to somewhere in the Mortal World. No, no. They wouldn't survive. They, they, they're not mortals. Or they haven't uh, broken through Junction. Okay. That's fair. Well, I'm talking about the cultivators. Yeah. I'm like, where is the, those guys from the, from the Split the Heaven sect or whatever? Actually, people were in the comments just saying they don't want to see Split the Heaven sect come back. Why not? Because they thought they were too stupid. They were stupid. <laughs> they were stupid. They were funny. They were funny. But yeah, that, that, that scene was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, there was a lot of fluff in there, but like, it was pretty good. I think like always, you just gotta, you get used to the fluff. Yeah, we do. But it's good. It's good. It's good. I think it's just, sometimes it's hard when you go through like, a month of Beyond the Timescape, and everything is like, hidden so hard, and like, every chapter is so packed to like, something like Nine Star. And then like, Split